Philippines is, is such a different world from the States and from Europe also. I really thought that it was just going to be kind of another big city. So incredibly crowded. Um, the cars all drive on top of each other. It's as if the lanes don't even exist. Um, the buildings are kind of organically built on top of one another. So it was just unlike anything I'd ever experienced. Just um, totally another world. When I read how many people live around the area every day and how many people um, live off of the trash dump, um, it just blew my mind. The, and the fact that it's an organized job. The organization that we saw, the fact that they're helping them save money, like let alone that these people are making money, but actually save money, it, it's, it's amazing. Seeing the poor people of the Philippines view their, um, their simple concrete houses as beautiful palaces um, really invigorated my spirit towards what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, just to help the poor get decent homes um, so that they can have a sense of pride in where they live. When a student says to me that his or her life has been changed by an experience. Uh, you know that their lives are never going to be the same again, having encountered the poor, having encountered the needy, ha having encountered the oppressed, whatever the context or situation of their service may have been. So I think that's a very important realization that we as educators have to keep in mind, that these students who come to us, and for whom we pride, provide opportunities of service, are going to be different. Their lives are going to be changed. And so the expectation going forward into the future is that they're going to have this service orientation long after they graduate from the university. There was just this immense feeling of comfort, of welcoming. Uh, every single person who was there welcomed them, asked us into their homes, into their hearts, gave us food off their plate, literally. And it was such an amazing feeling because you walk in and we come from America, the place where all these people want to end up, where, where they want to live, where their family will come see you even if they have a name. And we walk in and they literally sit us down and give us their food and they say, welcome, here, can we get you a chair, can we serve you in any way? And it was just this amazing feeling of uh, community that he had built there, of hospitality, of just acceptance for everything that was going around. And it, and it wasn't just um, the poor people he was helping out, but it was the abandoned elderly who lived in his homes. It was the handicapped children coming up and welcoming you, and, and Brother Stan talking to them as if we weren't even there. It was just this awesome feeling um, to be there and to truly be a part of, or to witness what he has created, this, this magnificent thing out in the middle of nowhere where no one else is helping these people. do you spiritually understand his his holiness but you can physically feel it and I think that our students will um, be inspired by his um, his faithfulness and his uh, his motivation to continue to serve the poor and um, without thought I can just see how this experience is going to shift my whole view on everything as far as service and what I need to give back, what, what God's calling me to do for the rest of my life. Well, you know, there are in history, 
individuals who by themselves made a difference in the world. And I think if the students believe that not only can they have the opportunity, but the, the occasion for them to make a difference is very real, uh, I think that will change their disposition and will we'll certainly give them more encouragement and more confidence to do something positive, to do something good. My perception of some before this trip was basically the serving breakfast in the morning. I didn't even realize they served lunch and dinner as well. Um, but after, these, after this trip, after these couple days, I realized how, how, what a variety of programs, the variety of things that they had to offer to these people. Um, I had never encountered a program, an organization, that had done so much for, uh, for so many people, for the homeless. And really, I, I can almost say that at the end of the trip, I could not think of one thing that, that the homeless would need that some did not provide. And that was a really, a really cool thing to realize. And um, you know, those employees really should be proud of the work that they do. Words can't really even express like how grateful um, I am to have this opportunity. And you know, going on trips like this is really a reminder of how grateful and um, thankful we need to be for you know even even the littlest things in life. Um, you know, some of these people just come in with nothing but their clothes on their back, and you know maybe a couple children beside them, and that's all they have. You know, they only have each other to rely on. Grades can only take you so far in life, and it's really the experiences of, of working with people, of trying to develop who you are, the person that you want to be. That's what really makes the college experience. I mean, the trip was incredible. It totally changed a lot of stuff about my life unmeasurable that Opus can give this money away and have an event like this where all these other companies can come see these awesome organizations and realize what they should be doing with their money, with uh, the donations that can be made to these organizations that exist all around the world. And I think this prize is a great occasion, a great opportunity for our university to put in front of the students and the entire university community the importance of service and the importance of what can be accomplished in society by putting your mind to it, by putting your heart to it, by putting your soul to it. Looking back three and four years behind me, I could not imagine myself being at another university and, and doing what I'm doing here. And I hope that this will be an opportunity for our students to say, I want to do that myself. I want to make a difference. <laughs>